Okay guys, today I'm going to show you how to put backtrack core onto your flash drive USB. Uh, first you want to start out by getting backtrack core, I mean, yeah, download backtrack core from, uh, shit, I can't remember the website right now. Um, but, I'll put the link in the description. Um, then you want to put your flash drive in, USB, whatever you call it. Um, then, if you're on Vista, right click on backtrack on your flash drive. And click format. And choose click format and start. And hit OK. Should take not very long depending on how much stuff you got on. If you're on XD, go to my computer, go to your start menu, right click on the computer, properties, and then go, I mean manage, and then go to uh, disk management and you can format from there. Just make sure you hit the right one because it's going right your C drive, you're fine. Um, then make sure it's empty. Uh, then there'll be a link in the description. It's a uh, of a program. It's freeware it's called Pnet Booting. You go, you just run it. It's in the description. Download it. Um, on this the one as administrator. And make then you want to. Make sure you get the right drive one because you don't want to be messing up any other drives. You want to make sure you get the right one. Uh, mine's this, mine's a uh, H drive here. Don't do it on your C drive. It'll completely fuck it up. Um, make sure when you're formatting, by the way, make sure it's uh, formatted in FAT32. Uh, FAT32. Easy to figure out. Um, if it's not under the USB type, then Click show all drives and it'll call. Um, yeah. Okay. Then up here on the, I'll make sure it's on ISO, and then hit that and browse and go out and find it. Okay, then hit OK. Okay, this part takes a while, so I'm going to come back once it's done. Okay, guys, I'm back. Uh, it has finished. Um, as you can see, um, installation complete. Now you want to either, now you want to reboot. Okay, this will take just a second. Okay, it should be just about done now, and okay, now when it comes to the startup screen, the BIOS screen, you'll see what that is here in just a second if you don't know what it is. The screen, uh, hit F12 or whatever your boot manager button is, and then it'll come up with a screen similar to this. Um, uh, some things you can do is you can either, you can go down to the USB memory and uh, on most computers if you press U, it will um, send that up. On mine I have to go down to the here and configure it all. It's I'm not going to show you how to do that because each computer is different. Uh, you'll figure it out I guess if you want to. Um, but you can just go USB memory and hit enter. Then this will come up, and you want to hit uh, enter or wait till the time runs out. And it'll be just default. It'll be the one that you want to hit. And then, as you can see, backtrack, fully working. Um, 
One thing you have to do is you have to enable all the, all of the, like, networking. Everything that has to do with internet, you have to enable all that. Uh, if you're doing wireless network, you have to do even more. Uh, the command for getting ethernet or that up, you have to type in, um, ETH0 up. And for, uh, wireless, if you're using the wireless card, uh, W, uh, LAN0, uh, up. But whatever, I'll, I'll put the commands for ethernet and, uh, wireless in there. It's even more different if you're using, like, a wireless USB card or something like that. Um, and this is just right now to show you that it works. This works for any operating system that you have in back in a um, ISO form. So, right there, if you want to install it onto your computer, that's what you use. Uh, and then it'll come up in a boot, in your boot launching place, whatever. Uh, you can see all these things are all working. Um, I guess I could show, go ahead and show you how to get your uh, wireless working. Um, you want to type in, um, this is the same for Ethernet, only you, there's a couple of steps for Ethernet. Ethernet, you type S-U-D-O uh, E-T-H-0 up and it'll come up and it'll work. Uh, for wireless, you just type the same thing, and then you want to go down, and you want to go to services, in your start menu, go to network, and hit start network. Then, you want to go here, you want to come back up here to this screen, and you want to type in S-U-D-O W-L-A-N zero and then up okay I typed that in wrong so just give me a second okay then you wanna go down to here and hit your start button again and you want to go to uh, internet and then go to WICD Network Manager and find your wireless router and hit connect. Um, you gotta get a wireless password on here, so I gotta configure it for all that stuff. Because it's an ISO image, I'm gonna have to do that every single time I log on, so that'll get annoying. So I'll probably install it on my computer, uh, but I don't know yet. So that's how you do it. And I'll see you next video I make. Later.